There are interesting dichotomies in the modern world. For example, the upper classes don't decorate the same as the middle classes and the working classes. And we see that dichotomy happening again between contract and residential furniture. Now, contract furniture is basically what you would see in an office. It tends to be the most modern, the most ornate, the most up to date. And it's interesting that it is because we only spend 40 hours a week at the office, whereas we have around about 120 hours during the week total. So we're only spending a third of our time there. We're spending two thirds at home and yet the best decorative elements, the best design happen in the office. And we see that when we compare, for example, your average home office, or at least a depiction of the perfected and idealized home office to a office, you know, a average office workspace. The workspace is going to be more ergonomic. It's going to have the most modern elements of fashion, whereas the home office tends to be more rustic, tends to be simplified. The workspace is smaller. The chair doesn't have the same features, the same ergonomic features that we would expect in an office space. And yet we accept that. And this is because the home space, home decor, hasn't changed that much. Even today, you will find people decorating with a mixture of antique furniture that may or may not match the home that it's in. So here we see some elements of arts and crafts, some elements of Greek revival or classical revival in the fireplace. Uh, we have sort of an arts and crafts lamp. We've got what could be sort of a Persian rug of the Victorian. We have a neoclassical form couch. So a lot of different ideas. But yet when we move into offices, we don't see that. We see pieces like the Herman Miller three seat sofa. So why do we see that difference? Because companies need to be relevant. Companies need to show that they're constantly growing. And to do that, they need to show that they are in touch with the society. So they're always going to have the most up-to-date design and furnishings. That's where designers like Herman Miller start to really shine. So we see a piece like this, a very modern three-seat sofa, something that would never fit in the home because it lacks that softness and yet has that modernity to it. The use of the tubular design, for example, the use of chrome, the sort of minimalistic sofa with no hanging in front of it. Whereas if this were in a home, you'd want something hanging down, maybe a recliner, or any number of other features. So it really does change things. So whereas the living room, for example, hasn't changed much from 1950 to today, the average living room at least, we still have the same pieces. The aesthetic may have changed to some degree, but really if I dropped you in a 1950s living room, you're not going to feel that out of place compared to today. Whereas offices have changed dramatically. And so this is where we tend to see the avant-garde, the front guard, the the newest design ideas in these commercial spaces. I mean, just look at here. What we have is something that could definitely be a postmodern idea with this table. It's a very artistic table. It's beautifully designed. And then we have stumps for chairs. This juxtaposition is something that you wouldn't generally see in a home or a bench slash coffee table, this multifunctional piece with all these hard edges. It's very modern. It speaks to the current aesthetic, but wouldn't really match in a home. Or the lights with these uh, sustainable wooden shavings, wooden uh, pieces curved and creating this very warm light, this inviting light, even though we have very hard surfaces, we have mixed forms. If this were in a home, you'd say it was too eclectic. But in office, they can get away with it. But this is because these companies have the capital to do this. They have the money to revamp their offices 
on a regular basis and get rid of the things that are old. They can redo things every five years, which is not terribly uncommon. Trying to create the most up-to-date, the most fun, the most fashionable workplace possible because that's going to attract the best, most talented employees. At least that's the theory behind it. So it doesn't matter what company you work for, you tend to see this idea of modern design and the design typically will reflect the company. Whereas your personal design in your home, you have to ask yourself, does it really reflect who you are? Or is it a mishmash of pieces that were necessary at the time? I need a bookshelf. So I bought the bookshelf that was available. Yes, it was my best possible choice, but it's still what was available. I'm not sitting there tearing out my entire interior like Apple computers can and redoing the whole thing. I mean, just think of the cost of that. So keep that in mind when you're looking at design, you can look at office spaces for the most modern forms and then try and translate some of that into the home space. 